Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as VA Reptiles, and today's going to be the last of the new enclosure upgrades. We have the African Fat Tails today, so my last two videos were my Corn Snake upgrade and my Rainbow Boa upgrade. So today we're ending with the Fat Tail upgrade, and then I actually have two more surprise enclosure remodel videos coming out before the room tour so stay tuned for that but today we're going to be showing you the new fat tail enclosure i'm so so excited to show you this enclosure so it's for these guys right here my fat tails the one on the left is ua the one on the right is suki and yeah so it's going to be a video just like the last two because this was a very rushed put together enclosure trying to get it done before christmas so I didn't film a whole lot of the process, just snippets here and there. So I'm going to show you guys what I do have. And then we're just going to do kind of an overview video of the enclosure once it's done. And I talk to you guys a little bit about the details of it all. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I do want to put in a quick disclaimer though before everyone comes for me in the comments. They are cohabbed. So I know there's a lot of differing opinions on the cohabitation of reptile species. I normally don't. Um, I have mixed opinions on it, but for those that are new, I did start off in the zoo field before becoming a part of the reptile community. And for those that aren't really familiar with the way zoo exhibits typically are set up, um, a lot of reptile exhibits in the zoo field or not just reptile, but many exhibits in the zoo field are cohabbed setups. And we actually discussed this in many classes and many internships I did. And a lot of my time spent in the zoo field, we discussed what has to go into making a successful cohabbed exhibit. So this isn't a project that I just went blindly into. I do have some background knowledge in cohabbing animals and exhibits, um, specifically species that are completely different actually. So I do take lots of considerations into how I design the exhibit and what I provide for them in the exhibit to make it a successful um, enclosure for them. And then just some background on the geckos themselves. They are both female, the same age, and they've lived together their whole lives successfully. Um, <laughs> In pretty small tanks as far as I'm aware they came to me in a 10 gallon tank um, so what they are getting right now is a huge huge upgrade compared to what they've had their whole lives and I'm very excited to show you guys so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video so for the background of the enclosure I did the typical cork and spray foam and you have to peel it all different for this background I actually um, dry locked the background so I just painted it on did several layers added some paint to it to get the color that I wanted and then siliconed on some moss okay since I didn't do a very good job filming the whole process of making this I wanted to just kind of do an overview video talking about it now that it's done so this is the fat tail enclosure it is a three foot by two foot by one foot. They have a shade dweller UVB from Arcadia and two little GU10 halogen bulbs. So I am switching all my animals over to halogens for heating because it's more natural. It has visible light. They're just really good overall. There's lots of science behind it, but we're not going to get into that in this video. So they have their halogens for heat. They don't have nighttime heat because I don't need it in my room. It's warm enough. Hot side. Cool human side. Lots of moss on this side. We have two humid hides. So we've got this moss ball hide here. And the other moss ball hide is right here. That fake plant up there just for decor. Lots of cork bark for hiding in and climbing on. So it's very natural decorations. I didn't want any obvi obvious like hides, like anything fake. I wanted it all to look very natural. Um, in the ground, like you saw while it was being made, is spray foam carved and painted with dry lock. Three layers. Um, the second two layers I mixed in paint. I mean, it's going to look like this dark gray stone look. 
and then I used this green moss and siliconed it in certain spots to add pops of color. Also, I should have done it over there. Oof. But to hide um, to hide white spots, spots that didn't get covered very well with the, the gray color. Or just like to hide, like to add just around the cork bark. So that's like very plantish, very natural. Um, very hard to paint a one foot tall enclosure that also has a substrate barrier. So as you can see, it's lots of lots of white spots. Not the greatest, but you know, it is what it is. And then we've got this philodendron here for plant and a pothos back there. And then this snake plant over here. Food dish, usually I have food, there are two food dishes, so there's two of them. Um, right now I just have the one in there. And this water dish. So a substrate is a bag of topsoil, um, some play sand, leaf litter, and moss. So as you can see in here, can I get an idea? I honestly don't know where the fat tails hide in here. I know one of them hides in this hole. And then I always see them like climbing over here somewhere. But there's lots of places to hide. So they're around here somewhere. <laughs> I see them come out at night. And actually the other night I caught them climbing around up here in the back. So super cool. But yeah, so that is the overview of the fat tail enclosure. So I think I still want to get a couple plants maybe some air plants to put back up in this corner or something, I don't know yet, but that's just the start of it. All right, and that is the enclosure. So if you guys have any questions about the enclosure, because I know I really didn't film much of the process of putting it all together and creating it. So if you guys have any questions about the enclosure, please just leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer whatever questions you have. Otherwise, you know, let me know what you guys think of the enclosure in the comments. And we'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.